Hey guys, this uh, vlog is going to be basically on the 2014 Mr. Olympia and my predictions and why I think this place is going to come in this place and I'm only going to be basing on the top 5 because if you come out of the top 5 you don't uh, qualify for the year after. Now, I've seen a couple of people's now on it, it's up about f six weeks out, six and a half weeks out uh, at this point and I've seen a, a couple of people's uh, predictions and my predictions are not in order I'm just going to tell you who I think is going to come in the top five and I think where they're going to come in the top five in no particular order it's going to be Phil Heath, Coy Green, Dexter Jackson no, sorry, not Dexter Jackson. <laughs> Phil Heath, Coy Green, Sean Rowden, um, Dennis Wolf, and Big Ramy. Now I think top in the fifth spot will be Big Ramy, mainly because uh, because it depend all comes on all comes down to now this is to do with everybody that conditioning. Now the thing about him is that it's so big, no one has come across him, some like his shape, uh, since Ronnie. So for him to, if he comes in 100% on the day, I really do think the aesthetic type shape that he has, the wide shoulders, uh, to the narrow waist, to the outer quad. I think that he could win. If he comes in 100% the condition that Ronnie used to bring to the table every year, I do think that he could win it. Now, him having that much size, it's going to be so hard to bring in conditioned. Now, number four, I think, would be Sean Rowden. Mainly because the last two years that he's been in, in the Olympia top five, he hasn't really changed. He hasn't really got harder. He hasn't really like been more. I don't think Grainy is in where he's looking to uh, looking to look like. Now, Branch Warren, Dennis Wolf, Flex Lewis, these all bring a very grainy hard look. I don't think Sean Rollins look for that look. He's looking for it. Uh, stream, not streamline, just the artistic shape that he has. If you look at him doing a front double bicep, he doesn't stand up straight, he turns to the side as in an artistic pose. Bodybuilding is artistic as well. He will have to come in much tighter and much drier and much harder if he wants to try it and go for that first place trophy now Dennis Wolf, as if you seen him last year could have won it he's just the only thing I see him different from winning is that if you look at his waist and when he does a front double bicep or rear double bicep say he does his waist his waist doesn't come up like that, it comes up and around, up and out, it's just like a T, it doesn't come up, if his waist was to start here and go out like that, as in the V taper, that aesthetic look, he could actually have won it, but it's all down to the genetics as well, if his, uh, his shoulders are here and it came into his waist here, he would have walked away with but he can come in ridiculously conditioned especially because he like he has a disadvantage to a lot of people excuse me mainly because he does his own diets and Phil Heath would have say for example Honey Rambard Coy Green would have um, uh, George Farley Sean Rowden would have Charles Glass uh, what's his name? Big Ramy would have Dennis James. He's on his own. Now that's 
very hard but a person like him that's been in this game for I don't even know how long uh, he would have the expertise to okay what what do I have to change this year look at himself like the condition that he brought in last year a lot of people did say it was the best condition he's ever had by far and that amazing shape got him his best uh, place and ever oh, obviously there's Koi Green and Phil Heath and the reason why I'm putting Koi down as second I would really like to see him come first I think last two years he's been the fans choice Everyone wants him to win. If you look from last year, he's he was voted again the uh, viewers' choice, the people's choice. Um, for him, what he needs to come in. If you looked at him from two thousand twelve, came in, his waist was much smaller. That's the thing he needs to come in again, and harder and grainier and fuller. Last year, he, he tried to play the Soyuz game, as everyone called it. He just, it all comes down to that waist. Now, from the back, I think he he wins it from the back. He wins it from the side. Oh, not from the side, from the front. And you see him go for that uh, side chest, and you look at and if you look at two pictures from uh, Phil Heath and Coy Green the last two years, you'll see that when Phil Heath goes in, and what he does is that when he comes down, he doesn't bring his arm up like that. He leaves his arm down here, and you can see his obliques just shredded. But Coy Green needs to get that waist as chiseled and as small as he can, because his shoulder to waist ratio if he came in like as hard and as grainy as he did last year but the, uh, the waist from 2012 you walk away with the fill of heat his, his shoulder to waist ratio is by far best in the game his condition is you can't compete with it's just everything. His condition is ridiculous. His shape is conditionous. His posing is great. He's so confident. Like if you watched last year's, when he and Koi Green were about to do, as I recall, I think it was the rear double bicep. When it was called a rear double bicep, Phil he turned around to the crowd and was like, "That game over. That's it." He, as of now, because of his condition, he has the best rear double bicep. If Koi Green comes in that much crisper, if Bowling were, as Bob Chigarillo asked in 2012, if you've seen Generation 9, you can see this. If Phil Heath and Koi Green are 100% on game day, he would win. And it wasn't to do with politics. Koi Green would walk away with If they were 100% on game day no one has seen Koi Green a hundred percent now the people say that because of his past and everything that's another reason why he won't in my opinion win it now he's beating Koi uh, he's beating Phil he